Hey, it's Montina Portis here, and I'm in the studio. And our guest today is Megan Hill. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about her. She's the founder, of, actually, she's an exercise physiologist and the founder of A Stronger Workplace. She uses her education and her athletic experience, former Team USA bobsled athlete, to educate and motivate healthy living. So you are a former bobsled athlete. Like, yes. How do you get into that? Um, so um, I guess just a little background information about me. I went to Auburn University and studied health promotion. I earned my bachelor's and master's degrees in health promotion. But while I was there, I was also on the gymnastics team and the track and field team. Nice. And when I finished up my collegiate eligibility, I felt like, man, I have this God-given an athletic ability, I need to still use this while I'm young. Um, and so I heard the U.S. women's bobsled team was having combines all over the U.S. So I went to one, tried out, just did sprints and um, a shot put toss, lifted weights, much like a football combine. And um, from there, I was invited up to the Olympic Training Center in Lake Placid, nice. New York. Yeah, so I um, actually started out as a brakeman where you just push the sled, jump in, hold on for dear life. And then I, after that, I went to driving school and became a pilot. Wow, so yeah. you'll have to learn more about her. All of her information is <laughs> going to be there on her site. Go and, you know, go to the contact us and give her a call. All right, so tell us, how did you get into workplace wellness? Well, unfortunately with bobsled, I had um, some injuries that I just mm. had a hard time getting over. I had a concussion and separated my shoulder, and it took me about a year to get over the concussion. Um, and so I came back to Atlanta. This is where I'm from. Um, and started working at my dad's company, actually. Um, um, and while I was there, I realized um, how sitting for long periods of time, mm -hmm. just how detrimental that is to our bodies. And just looking at my dad and um, just at his office and seeing how this sedentary lifestyle can lead to health problems, mm -hmm. um, I created a wellness program mainly for my dad. Um, I wanted him to be healthier, and so I started the wellness program for him. And then um, the employees loved it, and I was encouraged to take it elsewhere. And so that's when I started A Stronger Workplace. So how does workplace, workplace wellness actually benefit a company? Um, workplace wellness benefits a company, um, starting with the bottom line with the company. Um, so to the employer, it will save in healthcare costs. Um, there's actually a return on investment for every dollar invested that $5 will be returned in um, savings in healthcare costs, reduced absenteeism, and then productivity and morale is boosted. So it really is just a win-win situation for the employer and for the employees. Wow. And employers always like win-wins. All right. So how can you help a company actually create a culture of health? Um, so we have several services um, that can help companies create a culture of health. And um, I guess the first one, and this is a new service that we just started, it's called Three at Three. Mm -hmm. So at three o'clock, we'll email out three exercises that the employees can get up and do right there at their desks. Um, and so that's the first thing that's easy. Um, mm -hmm. And then we go into companies and we create challenges for the employees. We do biometric screenings. We educate with lunch and learns. Um, wow. Yeah, we even sell fitness trackers. So there's anything work place wellness related, we can bring that to the company. All right, so as we wrap up today, let's do let's do one of your exercises. Okay, um, we'll start with military press. So okay. you're gonna sit up tall, Okay. Uh, put your arms out to the side and bend them at a 90 degree angle, and then you're gonna reach up as tall as you can and back down. Okay. So this is called the military press. Um, we can do a neck stretch. If you're sitting bit over at a computer mm -hmm. like this all day, everything tightens up. It does. And so um, we'll do a neck stretch and follow that with a chest stretch. So first you just kind of wanna tilt your head to one side, Hold it, and then go back to neutral and do the other side. Remember to breathe. Yes, <laughs> deep breathing is important. And then another really great one if you've been working at a desk all day is to put your hands behind your head, push your elbows back, and just look back as far as you can. And this will just open up all these muscles and <sighs> just relax. Good. All right, so we're going to wrap it up in the studio with our guest, Megan Hill, A Stronger Workplace. Thank you so much for being a guest yes, in the studio. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, so you can see all of her information right here on the screen. And the 3 on 3, contact her from the Atlanta metro area. She actually deals with um, clients in Atlanta, so she actually come to you. So thanks again, Megan, for being a guest. And if you'd like to be a guest in the studio, all of our details are right here below. We'd love to have you come on in.